Now, we need to work out 50 squared. Remember, this little 2, this squared symbol, means multiply the number by itself. So to work out 50 squared, we need to work out 50 times 50. That's 2,500, because 5 times 5 is 25. And then, if we have two end zeros in a multiplication question, we need two end zeros in our answer. So, 50 squared is 2,500. Now, we have 90 squared, so that's 90 times 90. That's 8,100, because 9 times 9 is 81, and again, if we have a total of two end zeros in our multiplication question, we need two end zeros in our answer. So that's 8,100. Now we have 300 squared. So that's 300 times 300. That's 90,000 because 3 times 3 is 9. But here we have a total of 4 end zeros in our question. 2 here and 2 here. So we need a total of 4 end zeros in our answer. Now finally we have 700 squared. So 700 times 700 is 490,000 because 7 times 7 is 49 and again if we have a total of 4 end zeros in our question we need 4 end zeros in our answer. So that's 490,000. Now, what squared equals 81? Well, 9 times 9 is 81, so 9 squared is 81. We could say that the square root of 81 is 9. But now, what squared equals 400? Well, we know that 2 times 2 is 4, so that must mean that 20 times 20 is 400, because remember, if we have two end zeros in the question, there will be two end zeros in the answer. So, because 20 times 20 is 400, we know that 20 squared is 400. But now, we need to find the square root of 160,000. If we ignore our zeros for a moment, we know that 4 times 4 is 16. So that must mean that 400 times 400 is 160,000. Because again, if we have 4 end zeros in a, a multiplication question, we need 4 end zeros in our answer. So 400 squared equals 160,000. So now what squared equals 640,000. Well, if we ignore the zeros for a moment, we know that 8 times 8 is 64, which means that 800 times 800 is 640,000. So, 800 squared equals 640,000. 